Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see from the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a Bridgerton inspired set. This is going to be a DIY how to do your own Bridgerton inspired nail set. Um, this is just giving you guys a little bit of inspo in case you guys didn't know what to do for your next set. And today I'm going to be doing an almond shape for myself. I actually have been loving this. It's super, super easy to work with like if you have trouble wearing long nails, I used to wear like the extra extra long and now I can't. So I'm using almond nails today, medium length almond. And these specific ones are called oval from Enel Couture. They are called oval, but they are not oval. They are definitely an almond. So that's what I'm using today. And as you can see, I went ahead and buffed out all my nail tips. And I did previously select my sizes. So what you're going to need is a box of nail tips. I'm going to put obviously I'll put like the name of the Enel Couture ones in the description. But I'm actually going to be putting you guys some affordable alternatives from amazon that you guys could get that are just as good that are just as good just in case this is your first time trying to do your own nails or if you are watching this video and you don't already have nail supplies i'm gonna put some recommendations in the description for you guys and then if you're wondering what type of nude gel polishes uh, i would recommend i have a whole video on all of my favorite nude gel polishes that i use for all of my customers and clients and i absolutely love them so i will put that video in the description box as well so yeah this is the color i'm going in with this is number b072 from beetles i believe this color color is called uh pink champagne and i get it on amazon and i'm doing about two to three coats of this i knew for sure that i did not want it to look sheer because personally i don't like when my nail when you can see my natural nail underneath my press-ons so i would prefer like for you not to be able to see my nails so that's why i'm building up the color but it depends how much you would like to do how many coats you would like to do so I, yeah i think i did three and then um, I'm making sure to cure in between each layer just in case uh, you guys are beginners. And I am just making sure that I'm using um, thin, thin coats. Because I had someone tell me in my comments that they're having trouble with the gel polish kind of bulking up at the tip of the nail or by the cuticle area. And I would just recommend to work with thin layers. That is the best way to combat that issue. So yeah, this is what I'm doing so far. And then here I am, I'm going in with some French tips. So for the set, I knew that I wanted to add a French. I just love a French on everybody. It literally looks good on everyone. So I'm going in with my Melody Susie White Gel Polish. And then I'm going to be doing a French. I would honestly say that doing a French on almond is way easier than doing a French on square. I actually don't know why, but it just is to me. Um, and you could do the French as long or as short as you would like. And I actually also have a video on like how to do French tips uh, for beginners. It's kind of like an easy way for you to test out different methods that you would that you think you might like. Um, for me, I started off with a few different methods until I got to where I am now. So it's just up to you and whatever works for you. And um, I have been loving Bridgerton lately. If you guys like it as well, let me know in the description or let me know in the comments down below. But I have been loving it and it is such a good show. So I knew I wanted to do some really girly flower with bow uh, nails. And I never get to do my own nails. So I was really excited to do these for myself. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing a French. As you can see, that is the one on the thumb. And then now... Um, I'm moving on to the rest of the nails and I'm going to speed this part up. I know this could be probably kind of boring so I don't like to take up too much of your guys' time when I'm doing a French like this.
and this is my inspo for these sets as you can see very bridgerton vibes pearls little flowers a bow um i just love the wardrobe and i love the flowers and i love the girliness of it all and like the feminine vibes so i'm going in with these really dainty little cute hearts and then i'm going to be going in with the little flowers i wanted like a mix between the two like the second picture i showed was definitely giving more bridgerton and the first picture i showed was definitely just more cutesy like with the hearts so i'm doing kind of a mix of both but i'm definitely staying with like the pink uh vibe i did i did not want to do red i actually do love red nails but i just didn't want to do red for this set so i'm going in with the light pink color um if you're looking for a good light pink i would recommend floating by uh nails Ble nail reserve uh floating is a really good one and then um that one's like a really perfect neutral uh baby pink color and then here i am going in with some little flowers so what you're going to do is just grab a light pink shade this is specifically if you want to do a light pink flowers or pink flowers in general you're going to grab a light pink color kind of glob it on a little bit and then grab a darker pink or even like a darker type of red like a maroon and you're going to go in and kind of just uh while it's still wet kind of swirl the colors together almost and it makes it look like these really tiny detailed little tiny flowers um and then you're gonna grab a little bit of a green i would recommend more of like an olive green unless you want a really bright green you could go with that but for the these type this type of vibe i wanted to do more toned down kind of muted colors so i went in with an olive green and i'm going in and just adding little leaves which is basically just two little lines or two little dots on opposite sides of the little flower and this is just going to give you that flower type of look without you even having to try. So it's going to look really good and really detailed, but it's actually very, very simple and very easy to do for beginners. So if you're looking for a good um, Bridgerton type of vibe for your nails, this is definitely the way to go. Because I know Bridgerton is super, super trendy right now. Like it's trending all over TikTok, at least my For You page. So yeah, um, now I'm just kind of doing as many as I think I need on this nail. I honestly felt like sometimes I get, I feel like sometimes I get carried away and I tend to like do too much sometimes. So I wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit and not add so, so, so many flowers because I definitely could have done more than this, but I just decided to kind of stop at a certain point to where I felt like it looked good. So just do whatever you like best. You can even add the, add the flowers just on the French, but I wanted to do it on the full nail. So that's what I did right there. And then here I am going in on the other hand.
Okay, so now once I'm done with my design, I'm going in with my top coat. The top coat that I love is the Beatles top coat and it is um, the best because it comes in a duo with the base coat and the top coat for less than $10. And it is by far the best top coat I've used. I've used so, so many brands, like literally so many brands and none of them have compared to this top coat. So um yeah i'm going in with this and i'm doing a nice even layer making sure that the sides and everywhere is all covered and then i'm going to make sure it is all nice and cured and once i'm done with that i'm going to be doing a little design on the ring finger i decided i wanted to do a little bit of uh rhinestones and a charm so um i'm going to be doing that and you guys will see here that i decide to go in with the now uh, this is what it looks like but I decided to go in with the McCart rhinestone gel and I'm just going in with this bow. I would recommend etching the back of your bow either with your drill or with a hand file. Any type of nail file just kind of like scratch and buff up the back of the bow so that it actually lasts really well. It'll just adhere to the glue way better and then I went ahead with a little bit of rhinestones and some, um, some little pearls and the rhinestones I'm using are Swarovski and I get them from Blue Street Crystals and then I'm going in with uh, the same thing on the other ring finger right here. As you can see, I applied a generous amount of glue. And then once I have the rhinestones and the charm exactly where I want it, then I'm going in with a little brush and I'm kind of smoothing out the glue so that it's not so like noticeable once it dries down. And then as you can see, now I'm going to be applying my nails. So I'm starting off by uh, just buffing my nails out with my buffer. And then I forgot that I had to push my cuticles back. So I'm going in here and pushing my cuticles back as gently as I can. Um, I send these little rubber, I don't know if they're rubber, I don't know what material, but it's kind of like soft. So um, these soft little cuticle pushers in with all of my orders and that is what I'm using on myself as well. It is the most gentle option in case people don't know how to push their cuticles back. And then another step you can do before you apply your press-ons is cut all of your nails down. Um, when I put these nails on, I want it to be like on a healthy nail journey. So I was trying to grow my nails natural so that I can design them and paint them but I decided and realized that I absolutely hate the feeling of my nails being long my natural nails I have to cut I had to cut them down like as soon as this set came off I cut all of my nails down as short as I could because I just can't I couldn't stand it so um yeah that's why I didn't cut my nails first and then here I am just um I'll pushing back the cuticles again I was kind of seeing if the nails were going to fit I was a little bit worried that they were going to shrink but I did not have that problem thankfully but here I am pushing the cuticles back on my other hand and I'm sorry if you guys hear those sirens in the background um but yeah here I am just pushing the cuticles back and I'm trying to do this gently as gently as possible in case you guys are beginners don't push it too far back because you could bleed and hurt yourself and you definitely do not want to do that. So just be gentle and you don't need to do it super rough. And as you can see for my glue method, I like to apply a dot of glue inside the actual press-on and then on top of my actual nail as well. So I don't care too much about the longe longevity of my press-ons because I get tired of designs pretty quickly. I would like to wear my nails a week max and then I want them to come off and these lasted me exactly one week. So here I am applying the glue to my natural nail and then underneath the press-on nail as well. Um, I'm going to give you guys a few tips if you want your press-on nails to last more than two weeks possibly even one month if you take really good care of them um i would recommend getting a primer the one i love to use i will put in the description for you guys it is the world's best primer i think it's called um i think it's called the yeah it's called oh it's called today's products miracle primer four in one it is so 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 good i use this for all of my clients this is better than protein bond better than mia secret better than anything i ever used as soon as i started using this product back when i used to take my acrylic nail clients i never went back um i did not have anybody's nails popping off with this product and i absolutely love it and i use it on my mother-in-law as well and she is super super rough on her nails and she you know cleans and does stuff and her nails don't come off so if you guys are looking for a good primer i'm gonna put that one in the description box no i'm not getting paid to say that so um i just love the product and then uh another tip i would give you is if you want your nails to last longer you could etch the inside of your press on nail this specifically will work better if you have a drill um you could use your drill with the sanding band on it and you could etch the inside and this would make sure that the glue adheres very very well 
And another tip I wanted to give is that you want to make sure that you're pressing your nails on for a good amount of time because if you just like pop it on really quick and then lift it up, like let go, um, air bubbles can kind of form inside of the nail, like, you know, where you put the glue. So I would recommend holding it down for a good 10 seconds per nail just to make sure that the air bubbles do not get in there. Um, and yeah, you want to use a good amount of glue. And another tip I would recommend is having a little bit of acetone on hand. You can get it from the dollar store. That's literally where I get mine. Just 100% pure acetone. They come in little bottles. They're usually by the nail polish section. And um, it's just 100% acetone. It'll, and sometimes it'll say like nail polish remover. This will work just in case you get some uh, glue all around your press on and it looks kind of crusty. If that ever happens to you, uh, get go to Dollar Tree, get a bottle of that acetone just to have on hand. But please be careful. It is very, very strong. It is stronger than alcohol. It will melt any type of plastic. So you don't want to use a lot. You just need a tiny bit on a little wipe, a lymph-free wipe, or a Q-tip. And it will work really good for you. Um, so yeah, you can see my nails look amazing. Sorry I was kind of chatting, but I did uh, show you guys right there what it looked like. And now I'm going to be doing the other hand. And I am right-handed, so doing it with my left hand is a little hard. But I think I got the hang of it. And yeah, I'm doing the same method and this method will last me about a week and I would recommend or I would say that my nail beds are a little oily. So depending on how oily your nail beds are, will also like factor into how long your nails will actually last you. That's why I recommend a primer. The primer that um, I recommended is really, really good. It works pretty much for everybody. Um, literally works for everyone. So uh, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, I did my mother-in-law's nails and I used this product on her and she has oily really oily nail beds and her nails still do not come off so um yeah these are all the tips I would give you guys if you want your nails to last longer than one week but if you want to do your own DIY press-ons this is the way to go and you can switch up your designs uh, these press-ons will be reusable as long as you do not take them off with acetone as long as you let them come off naturally or um, you just soak your hands in some warm water to make them come off. Your nails will last um, multiple uses. You can use them multiple times. And if you want to kind of like wipe them off or clean them up and disinfect them, you can use some isopropyl alcohol and it'll clean them up very nicely. You can use it with a wipey or a paper towel and it will not melt away your gel polish at all. It'll just clean up and disinfect your nails and they will be good as new to reuse again. So... That is just some tips I have for you guys. And then another thing that I like to do if your nails are looking a little crusty like mine, um, you could add a little bit of cuticle oil. This just makes your nails look nice and fresh, just like if you went to a salon. So you guys will see that I end up doing that right now. And then another thing I quickly wanted to mention, the glue that I am using is the McCart Nail Glue. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it in big packs of like 100 pieces. That's, where, that's how I buy it, or you can get it in smaller packs if you would like. And this is what the nails are looking like. They look so good, so cute. I actually got a lot of compliments on these, so I really, really loved it. It's one of my favorite sets, and I'm really excited to do another set for myself. I think I'm going to do it very soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm finished with that. And then I'm grabbing some cuticle oil. You can use any cuticle oil you would like. You could also get some on Amazon. Um, I kind of went a little too heavy handed with the oil honestly. I should have went in with the way less but this is a dropper bottle so a lot comes out at once. Um, but you want to use less when you, you're wearing press-ons. You only need a tiny bit just because they are press-ons. They aren't acrylic so any type of oils could help make your nails lift off faster. So um, yeah just use a little bit just right at the edge of here. You don't need to go underneath the nail at, at like on the back side. Just go right here and um, they will look really nice and fresh. Um, I actually really love the way they're looking. They're so cute. And then, yeah, so once I'm done with that, I'm closing up my cuticle oil and then I will show you guys the finished, finished result. And here is the finished product. I absolutely love them with the lace. It's giving Bridgerton vibes all the way. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to do your own DIY nails at home on a budget for a fraction of the price of the salon and they look just as good if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're at it and i will see you in my next video bye